the way I'm going to treat my wife, real gentle, you know, and just move with love at all times. And be quick to catch yourself when your ego try to swoop in. You must be quick to catch yourself, right? And some people may get alarmed just by hearing, you know, what I'm saying as of right now. Because some people, you know, they have things they, that they have to learn and things that they have to heal from. Obviously, it has to be a woman that's aligned with me, correct? I'm not finna, I'm not even finna put myself in position or be with a woman that's not aligned with me. So, obviously, she will bear the same fruits that I bear. But um, I will make sure my wife is loved the way God intends her to be loved. Because the man that she will be on with, myself, will be led through Christ. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I know to be patient. I know to be kind. I know to be loving. I know to be, uh, you know, forgiving. And also have self self control and uh self control in the aspect of you know obviously not lusting after women but having that self control of being able to control myself at times where I have to put my ego in check. You know what I'm saying? Relationships is with, this is how I look at them, man. They, they're opportunities to grow. I don't attack you, you don't attack me. So I'm open to being wrong. I don't mind being wrong, you know, because all it does is leads me more towards the truth. So if my partner has a has an uh problem that needs to be addressed or if she has a concern or anything my ego automatically goes out the picture it's like okay I'm all ears I listen and understand and I'm coming from a place of love understand me and I'm willing to grow so that defense is out the window now it's gone because when you get defensive then ain't number pride I have the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit humbles you you're humble it's a humble spirit understand me at this point in my life, I would have to go out of my way to, to be real prideful, you know? And even at times where I catch myself acting out of my ego, quick to catch myself, real quick. The Holy Spirit grounds you, you know? I'm building that relationship with God. I know God, so now I know love. You understand me? So all I'm gonna wanna do is profess that love unto my partner, right? Because when you, when you get married, you become one. I see past the flesh now. I see past it, right past it. I see the spirit. So if I love somebody, if I genuinely love somebody, it'll hurt me seeing them hurt because I don't get a kick out of seeing someone upset. I don't get a kick out of seeing somebody being frustrated or angry. My go-to is what is that we can do to fix it? You know, I want to be a support system. I want my words to be able to wrap around her to where she feels safe. You know what I'm saying? That's how powerful I am. That's how powerful I want it to be. That's how loving I want to be. I can speak with her. She can listen to me and feel safe and feel loved because my words are so powerful to wrap around my wife and hug her. You know what I'm saying? But it's about creating that loving, that safe environment. And now I know to have God as the center because the very man that y'all looking at, I was the complete opposite one, at one point in time. And I've grown. God opened my eyes. I opened my heart. He changed my heart, renewed my mind. I know God, so I know love. So with all that being said, I want my wife to be loved the same way God intends her to be loved. Her man knows God, so now her man knows love. And who is love? God is love.